welcome to Maple Leaf ESL. My name is Andrew and thank you for joining me here in the classroom today. For today's lesson, I want to take a look at some phrasal verbs that begin with the word push. So for today's lesson, I have selected about 11 different phrasal verbs. As always, we're going to look at some definitions and many examples. Okay, we've got a lot of work to do, so let's see if we can get started. So the first one there says push on. And the definition is to move forward or to continue doing something. Okay, imagine this example. Imagine I am traveling across Europe. Okay, maybe I'm in France. Okay, and my friends say, should we stay in France or should we continue to Germany? Okay, and I say, I think we should push on. Okay, so in this case, it means I think we should go to Germany, right? Let's not stay in France. Let's push on, right? Let's move forward. Let's go to the next place. Okay, one more example. Imagine I'm driving in my car, okay? And it's a long drive. Maybe it's like a, a 10 hour drive, okay? And I've been driving for eight hours already. So I have two more hours to go, but I'm tired. So I say to my friend, Maybe we should take a rest, you know, or I'm getting pretty tired. But my friend says, no, no, come on. It's only two more hours. Let's push on, right? So in this case, let's continue driving for two more hours. So let's push on. Okay, the next one there says push in. And the definition is to go in front of other people in a line. Okay, this is basically used in one way. It's usually a negative thing. If I'm waiting in a lineup, for example, at a movie theater, and somebody pushes in, that means they went somewhere in front of me in the line without permission, right? So they sort of rudely moved in front of the line. So in this case, they pushed in, right? Or they pushed in the line in front of other people. So again, this one usually describes a sort of negative move by a person because they didn't have permission to go on the line, so they went in there in sort of a rude way. So they pushed in. Okay, next one says push out, and it says there to force someone to leave a job or activity. Okay, think about this. Imagine a company, okay? And a lot of the employees in the company are getting older. They're maybe 55 or they're 60 years old. Okay, and the company, they want to get newer, younger, fresher ideas. So they might try and push out some of the older workers, right? They might try and convince them to take an early retirement, right? So again, we might say, oh, the company's trying to get younger and they're trying to push out the older employees, right? So they're trying to force them to leave. Okay, another example. Imagine I'm on a sports team. Okay, we all really love each other on this sports team. But there's that one guy and he doesn't cooperate with the rest of the team. So maybe all the other members on the team, they might try and push out this one member, right? They might take a vote and they might say, I don't want him on the team. Yeah, I also don't want him on the team. So they're trying to push this guy out. They might not tell him about the next practice or they might not tell him the location or the start time of a game, right? So to try and convince him to leave the group. So they're trying to push him out of the group or from the team, something like that. Okay, next one there says push off. And the definition there says to leave somewhere or to go away. Okay, this one's pretty simple. Imagine I'm at a restaurant uh, with some friends and we finish eating our meal. Okay, and so after the meal, I might say, uh, so are you, is everybody ready to leave, right? Are you guys ready to go, right? So another way I could say it is, are you guys ready to push off? Or shall we push off? Or let's push off. So again, that just means let's leave, right? Let's go somewhere else. Let's push off. Okay, also notice this can be used in a rude way. If somebody's bothering me or annoying me, I might say to them, hey, push off, right? That means go away, as it says there, or leave, leave me alone, push off. So in that sense, it's kind of a rude way to say 
go away, right? Leave me alone. So it's a command that you would give to somebody. Okay, next one there says push around, and the definition is to treat someone unfairly or to bully someone. Okay, this can be used in two different ways, but they're very similar. Imagine the bully at school, right? The kind of strong guy who thinks he's stronger than everybody. And maybe in this case, he's physically pushing the smaller kids around, right? Like get out of my way, or he's sort of punching them or hitting them in some way. So in this case, the bully is physically pushing other people around. Okay, but imagine the other example in the office, the manager, he's giving orders and commands to all the employees. You do this and you do that. And he's not being nice about it. He's being rude. He's saying it in a very negative way, like an order. So in this case, the boss is pushing everyone around. Okay, so it's not physically in this case, but he's treating them in a negative way, right? He's giving them orders and he's not being nice. So he's pushing everybody around. So we can use it in that physical sense and then we can use it more in the sort of verbal sense that someone is giving orders. Okay, next one says push aside. And it says there to stop worrying about something. Okay, imagine I have homework. Okay, I've got math homework and I've got English homework. Okay, well the English homework, that's really fun, right? So I'm gonna focus on the English homework and I'm gonna push aside the math homework, right? I'm not gonna worry about the math homework. I'm gonna do it later and I'm gonna focus on the English homework. So the math homework is pushed aside. Okay, it doesn't have to be just homework or something physical. Imagine I have a problem, okay, and I'm thinking about this problem all the time. It's making me feel stressful, okay? So I don't want to think about it. So maybe I'll push that aside and I'll think about other things, right? I'll think about positive things. So I'm not going to worry about that stressful thing. I'm going to push it aside for the moment and think about other stuff. So again, it can be physically push something aside or it can be more mentally push something aside so, it, so to not think about it or not worry about it. Okay, next one says push ahead and it says to continue with something even when there are problems. Okay, this one's pretty simple. Imagine I have a project and the project has many problems. Maybe there's problems with the budget or maybe some of the members on the team are always sick, okay? So there's many problems, but we still need to continue with this project, so we need to push ahead, right? So if you're pushing ahead, you're gonna continue doing it, as it says there, even when there are problems. So let's push ahead with this project. Let's not worry about the problems. Let's continue doing it. So let's push ahead. Okay, and it could be the same thing. I'm driving and there's some kind of complication, right? Maybe there's a uh, bad weather, but I really wanna get home. So let's push ahead and keep going, right? Let's not stop. Let's not worry about it. Let's just keep going forward and not worry about the problems. Okay, we got a few more. Next one says push back, and it says there to delay an appointment until later. Okay, again, this one can only really be used in one way, right? Imagine I have a meeting on Tuesday. Okay, but actually I realize I'm busy on Tuesday. So I might ask the other people, is it okay if we push back the meeting until Wednesday or until Thursday or just until a later day? So again, let's push back the meeting until a later day, or let's push back the meeting until next week instead of this week, because we're all busy this week. So let's push it back until next week. So again, it's kind of just the same thing as delay, but usually it's used for something like a meeting or an appointment. Okay, next one says to push for, and it says there to try to persuade someone to do something. Okay, if I'm pushing for something, that means I support this idea, right? So imagine there's a, a, a new position open at the company. Maybe it's the position for a, a manager. Okay, and I think that this person would be really good in that posi position. So I'm pushing for him or I'm pushing for her to get this position. Okay, another example, imagine 
there's a birthday party. Okay, so for the birthday party, there's two ideas. We could go to a restaurant or we could go to a bowling alley. Okay, let's imagine I really like bowling. So I'm pushing for us to go bowling, right? I'm supporting this idea and I'm trying to convince or persuade the other friends or the other people coming to the party to go bowling. So, hey, don't you think we should go bowling? I really want to go bowling. That's a good idea. So I'm pushing for this idea, right? I'm supporting it and I'm trying to get other people to agree with me, right? So I'm trying to persuade them. Okay, two more there. Next one says to push something through and the definition says to get something accepted. For example, a policy. Okay, this one's usually used when talking about a government, right? A government might try and push a new policy through, right? So again, they're trying to get that policy accepted so that it can become a law, for example. Okay, a company might do the same thing. Imagine a company wants to have a no smoking policy. So they might have a meeting, right? They might try and discuss the topic and they might try and push this new no smoking policy through or push through the new no smoking policy. So again, they're trying to get this new policy accepted or again, it could be a law and they're trying to get the new law accepted or get the new law passed. So they're trying to push this through. Okay, and last one there says push up and it says there to increase something, usually a price. Okay, think about this. Imagine there's a new product, there's a lot of demand for this product. So usually when there's a lot of demand for a product, it pushes up the price. So we could say rising demand usually pushes up the price, but if there's decreasing or falling demand, it usually pushes down the price. So we can call that an opposite to push up the price or to push down the price. So usually it's used when discussing this idea of a sort of economic market where prices are pushed up or prices are pushed down, right? If something is rare, like a diamond, for example, if the diamond is rare, then that will push up the price, okay? All right, I wanna see if we can erase the whiteboard and I wanna look at some example sentences for each of these push phrasal verbs. Okay, let's see if we can take a look at some of these examples here. So the first one says, I'm getting tired too, but let's push on for 10 more minutes, right? So let's keep going for 10 more minutes. Next one, look at that guy. He just pushed in line. I hate it when people do that, right? So again, he went in the line in front of other people without their permission. Okay, next one. Ever since he turned 60, his company has been trying to push him out, right? So they've been trying to make him retire or force him to leave the company. Okay, next one. Should we stay here? No, I'm ready to push off. So I'm ready to leave in that case. The young boy always gets pushed around because he's fat, right? So again, this is children at school. They push around this kid because he's fat. There's no other reason for it. So they're being mean to him. They're bullying him. They're pushing him around. Okay, next one. You need to push aside all your worries and focus on more positive things. So again, you need to stop worrying about all these stressful things and focus on more positive things. Okay, next, I know this is difficult, but let's push ahead and finish it, right? So let's keep going, let's continue, even though, again, even though it's difficult, even though there's a lot of problems, let's push ahead and finish this project. Okay, next one, could we push back the meeting until after lunch? I'm having a busy morning. So again, the meeting was probably originally scheduled for the morning, but I'm so busy, I want to delay the meeting until after lunch. So I want to push back the meeting until after lunch. Okay, next one. I'm really pushing for a new microwave at work. The one we have now is so old. Okay, so imagine there's a meeting, right? The company has a budget. They're discussing what should we do with the extra money in the budget? Well, 
I want them to get a new microwave, right? That's my idea. So I'm trying to persuade other people to get the microwave. So I'm pushing for a new microwave. Okay, a couple more. I hope they're able to push through the new child care policy. So again, I hope they're able to get this new policy accepted and then, you know, turned into law if it's the government or if it's just a company, then it becomes a new policy. Okay, and last one there says demand for the new cell phone has pushed up its price. Again, so because there's higher demand, this has caused the price to go up. Okay, that is today's phrasal verbs lesson. I hope you found it useful. Thank you so much for joining me here at Maple Leaf ESL, and I look forward to seeing you again next time.